Hii ni kumaanisha kwamba e, wale viboko wako karibu, hii ni kinyezi ya kiboko na kiboko akija mahali sehemu anapitia kila siku the dominant male huja anaweka ile kinyezi yake karibu na mti kama huu kama ku mark territory yake. Jenda ikuani. My name is Dominic Kiplagat Kene. I'm the chairman of Kipo Campus. It is a CBO uh, found uh, at Sabaki River. Uh, this CBO uh, is a group of people who have come together to try and find solutions to the human and animal conflict. Uh, here at Sabaki River uh, is the river with three names. Up country is Ati River, in the middle is Galana, down here is Sabaki River. Now, we find that there is a conflict between the animals and the humans here. And I'll give you an example of uh, our neighbors here who are farmers. They grow their crops and the hippos get into the farms and they eat the crops. And most of the farmers here maybe have taken loans. So they have resulted into putting up traps uh, to scare or maybe uh, hurt these animals from coming near their farms. An example is uh, putting up a hole and they put a wood with nails that protrude and the animal will come and put the foot inside. And when the animal comes out, the wood is stuck with the nails in the leg. So what happens is this animal will not move and when it not move, it will starve, which means uh, it will die of starvation. Uh, another way is that they use snares. They put up snares using long wires, uh, which uh, they tie around large trees, and the animal walks and uh, gets trapped in, in this kind of uh, way. And uh, last uh, last year we lost more than four hippos, and this was one of the records. And uh, we tried uh, to sensitize the community on ways to try and live with these animals, and also find a way to find a source of food. Now, we bought a camp here. This is a place where we bought uh, a property that people can come and camp and also come and do research on these animals that are here. Uh, we are trying to find a lasting solution to this uh, problem. And uh, we uh, and a few uh, uh, other donors uh, are looking at an issue in South, Af uh, South Africa where we, we will try and track these animals using an app. They have told us there is a, there's a tracking system for animals. Uh, and this way we can uh, try and find where the animals are going at any given time. Uh, and also this will also help us maybe put up warning signs in this kind of areas. And we know here that uh, there is the presidential curfew in Kenya. But here we have the hippo curfew. Ikifika sambili kila mutu nyumba. Even if you have not gone to the toilet, you carry your toilet into your house and you stay there until the morning. So here we are trying to find this solution by either putting up barriers or planting uh, napier grass around the riparian land so that the animals don't go far from the water. Uh, also, we have uh, flamingos and other bird species like the sacred ibis that migrate here. So it is a bird paradise and uh, we are asking all uh, uh, to come and visit this beautiful place. And as we are hearing, uh, uh, it is only Zambezi and uh, our river Sabaki that they only store in Africa. So with this unique uh, species that are found around here, I'm saying that everybody is welcome to Camp Gedeng, to come and enjoy, visit, picnic, and we have our logo with the three Ks, Kula, Kunywa, na Kulala Hapa Camp Gedeng. And uh, we had a very nice group today uh, from uh, uh, Kingsway uh, Academy. They came with about 45 teachers uh, to do a team building. And we did the five kilometer walk uh, directly to the end of the river. And also when we come back, we also do the five kilometer. So we normally call it the 10 kilometer walk or 10 kilometer trail. And it was very successful because all the participants made it. No one was sick, even though we left late and the temperature was high. And uh, yes, we made it uh, in good time. <music> Yeah. Yeah. I tried to try to try to.
I'm the dominant male huja anaweka ile kinyezi yake karibu na mti kama huu kama ku mark territory yake. Senior guide wetu anaitwa Mzengash, Mzenganga mwenyewe ndio kubwa yetu huko kwa camp. Yeye mwenyewe anatengeneza fabric yake ya kutengeneza wanyama akitumia banana and the various indigenous plants that are found here. Na watu wa Moi University wameona kwamba they need a space to keep all these species alive and also do research <laughs> on medicine medicine on herbs okay yeah so indigenous plants are here and uh, the institution is going to do what we are doing the same we're all on research purposes yes. and also in the part of the conservancy and when they were bring the project they invited us to put up their signboard na sisi watu wa camp ndio tulikuja hapa na mafundi zetu tukaja tukainuaia mo university umeelewa Kuna sand dunes. Yes. Na hivi sand dunes ndio pale vijana wanachukua ile mchanga ya kujenga. Oh. Eh, hey, sasa ndio oh. sand harvesting inafanyika pale. Hey. Yeah, they use the dunes uh, to find their raw material ile mchanga mnajua ya kujengea nyumba. Haya, hey. tuendelee. Hey. Hey. The dunes are formed uh, by the uh, very long uh, beach structure. But why should the sand dunes be formed here and not at Watamu? <laughs> no. <laughs> hapa hii area hii ndio tulikuja na kikundi chetu ehe hapa ndio tulikuja kwa na kikundi chetu cha mazingira tukaja tukaonelea ni sehemu inataka rehabilitation kwa sababu kulikuwa na sand harvesting ukiangalia hapo mbele utaona mchanga inachimbwa na vijana wanafanya eh, mambo yao ya kuuza mchanga sisi tunakubaliana na hao lakini hii rasilimali wakichukua wanawacha pango na hiyo pango huwa pengine inachukua maji na zuiwa na maji na sisi kama kikundi tuliona kwamba sehemu kama hii maji inaingia ni tupande mangrove na tukienda hapa tunaona shamba yetu ndogo tumepanda mangrove na next time ukija mtapanda pia nyinyi mangrove na sisi Buja buja tunajua wenzetu wanakaa kwa ofisi na wapati ni exercise ya kawaida sasa wakija team building tunapatia soul cost kama hii juni wanapanda wana cut down calories na hivyo hivyo pia wanapata kufanya ile kitu naitwa team association Well done, well done. No, no, ya kwanza kio ya sports kwa ya kwanza memaliza. Well done. Haya. Tunapatia 1 minute break tu kuvuta hewa. Eh, eh, 1 minute. 1 minute break. Mvuta hewa hapa kidogo. 1 minute, 1 minute. Eh, 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 eh. Sabaki Moi area. Moi University ama Moi Veterinary. Yes. Na hii ni unaona shamba hapo ni hiyo ni kwa hiyo ni hiyo. Tulikuja tukaongea na wenyeji wa huku ya kwamba angalia hizi ardhi zimebaki 
bila kuangaliwa na ziko sunua na ziko baren so if they can wanaenda panda hizi miti za kuzuia nini hii uh, dunes kupotea kwa sababu ukiona dune ikiwa empty ile upepo bado inazidi inaitoa lakini ikiona coverage kidogo ile mlima inabaki na ujua mlima kama uh, ile fungus ana zile nini what i'm saying the humus it accumulate in that area unaweza panda vitu kama mimea yako ya nyumbani boga nini nini unaweza pata hapo yes kwa hiyo ndio first break ya trip hii ndio the first break haya twendeni mbele how long still? one minute break i think it's over let's go haya twendeni twendeni River na tayari tumeanza kuona um, uh, species tofauti tofauti za mandege. Ukiangalia mm-hmm. hapo mbele yetu unaona ndege black and white. Ile inaitwa sacred ibis. Yaani ni ndege uh, unique kwa sababu ina uhusiano na mambo ya Mungu na mambo ya mambo ya Biblia. Sasa oh. ndio hiyo ina fly sacred ibis. Na songa mbele tutakutana pia na maflamingos na species tofauti. Hapa ni mchanganyikoni ni kwa sababu ile maji ya mto huwa imebeba ardhi na ni nyekundu na mbele yetu kuna bahari na iko blue ni maji ya blue sasa zikukutana mm. hii hapa ndio inaitwa mchanganyikoni naonaana maji inachefuka na ina hiyo rangi ya eh, kama eh, brown brown hivi ni sawa kwa hivyo hapa ndio mchanganyikoni maji mchanganyikoni hapa ah. ndio mto inakutana na bahari twende 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 ni hapo hapo mrembo wangu niliwaambia mpaye vya tuzuri unaona unaona umimo wako kwa yako sasa inafunga jadi Salam madam. Ruti ya leo unaionaje? <laughs> Very nice. Eh? <laughs> Na utatoboa juu nasikia bado ni 10 km za watu wanatembea. Ah. Ha? Utembea kutoka mpaka Madunguni. Utatoboa? Utatoboa. Spirit of adventure. Ah, hebu gona kitambele mimi. tunatembea lakini sasa angalia sasa msitu yani we are uh, i personally am very happy to experience such an adventure uh, nature walk have seen some birds there now i'm expecting to see some uh, hippos uh, in the water because uh. here there is some water and uh, i'm expecting to see some hippos there so as i walk my major aim here is to see the hippos so that uh, you know in my life i've not seen the hippos in the water i've just been seeing them in the books in the textbooks at school but today i'm very happy and i'm sure i'm going to experience it. so okay we'll keep you updated what, what, what's your name my name is uh, joseph katana kahindi and uh, i'm just uh, enjoying the adventure here this is the footprint of hippopotamus you can see it's that huge so kutoko hippo territory No, no. Exercise. So when you go bending down, you do your stomach muscles. Ready? Yes. Yeah.
Eh tunana miguu baba. Hii ni miguu ya nini sasa? Ya kiboko. Kama hii ndio nje ya. Hii ndio nje ya kiboko. Hii ni miguu ya zamani, hii ni miguu mpya. Na inakae ni alipi, kuna siku ngapi kabla apite huko? Nani? Alipita na siku ngapi? Nani? Ukiona kama kiboko. Eh. Kwa hivyo anaweza pita leo. Si ndio hii. Hii alipita zamani, hii alipita majiko. Kwa hivyo hiyo hiyo ni mavi ya kiboko. Hii ni mavi ya kiboko. Na tunaona hii miguu hii ni kama alipita lini? Hii kama alipita jana jioni ah? kwa sababu maji ilikuwa imejaa hapo ukiangalia ni tide maji ilikuwa imetoka. So akanyaga na kaja free. Huyu anaonekana ni machua kulingana na hiyo form ya hiyo mguu ni kubwa na anaweza kuwa ni kama tani tatu eh, ama tani mbili na nusu huyu mnyama. Tani tatu ama tani mbili na nusu. Wow. Huyu wow. mnyama ni eh, kulingana sisi tunaangalia ile sina ya kiguu mm. inaweza kuwa ni mwanamke kwa sababu mwanaume huwa mrefu kidogo huwa dhif mm. sasa ukiona mguu wa mbele na mguu wa nyuma haiko mbali sana tunaona kama ni mwanamke oh, kwa hivyo hiyo ndio saini ambayo inakuonyesha kuwa ni mke ama ni mke matraka tunatumia kuangalia ile size ni okay ni sawa sawa hapo tunasonga mbele tunamwambia tuko hipo territory hiyo ni miguu ya hipo hizi hizi mzee zote hizi hii ni miguu miguu sasa kwa hiyo miguu yake ni kubwa kubwa ndio hii mara tatu unaona hiyo ina form hiyo shape ya mkono hiyo mavi yake ndio hii inabakisha nyasi si kama ngombe ina dajo eh inabakisha nyasi ngombe na maji tu hiyo hiyo ni hiyo ni kusaba yake ni kama ya elephant yes tunaenda hapo hata mimi sitaki kuinama Pia hapa kuna njia. Hapa kuna njia vizuri. Hatuna tumbo please. Ni ya ugali na mbuzi tunangojea. Eh? Ah ah inama inama. Malindi <laughs> Uh, yeah. We do a five kilometer walk to the end of the river where the river meets the uh, sea. And uh, going back is another five kilometers, which means the people walk from here. Wow. And it's walk. It's amazing. It's amazing. Land of 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 Wambie wa sasa subscribe wa Tam Super Ole. Kami view live from Camp Gedeng. Camp Gedeng inapatikana hapo outskirts of Malindi town on your way to tuseme Boy area hii. Kwa hiyo it's a good discussion, vile sasa inachokesha sana. Please watch the more videos, subscribe, like and share. Kwa story kibao sana zinakujia. Mie nataka kushuka mbali. Sasa tumepata team ya Unaona vipi? Bebe mwenyewe. Je, una 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 wake uko utatoka? Nita 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 mangana. Utaka ngana? Je, kuna hapa? Je, kwa huko? Hai. Unaona challenge challenges tunaona kama gani? Hiyo milima, hiyo miba mwanzo. Ah. Hiyo miba ilikuwa mimi. Uko kuinama. Uko kuinama inama. Eh. Hapo. 
Bend over, bend over. Iko mingi sana. Uh, I can see my people are good to go. Wale walivaa viatu vizuri, wanaendelea vizuri. Wale wengine tunaambiwa vae viatu kwa zimekatika katika lakini bado hawajawacha nyuma kwa sisi.